Hey everyone, today we're going to cover the two part two parts of MS Access Forms. So uh, specifically we're going to look at the open, load, and current events of the Access Form. So let's get underway here. I'm going to pull up Access Database. We're looking at a, uh, a form here. Uh, and actually this is from video number two look at that form when I double click on it it pr prompts me to enter a username we're looking at the access open form which happens before the load event uh, now access forms are event driven so you can program for the event for the current event so you gotta know which event happens first whenever a form is trying to open up it asks you for uh, it. It goes to the open event. The open event is a perfect event to to enter or prompt for a username and a password. So here I'm going to enter my name, and uh, I'm going to say my oh, password. I'm going to end with a wrong password, and it's going to say incorrect password. Okay. Now I'm going to try again, and this time I'm going to end with the correct password which is password and again this is an input box it's not case sensitive so that's a correct password welcome Eric now it fired the load event of that form and then it opens up the form okay so let's look at some of the code behind the scenes what's going on I have a lot of stuff open so we're gonna look at code and that is on the form open event, let's see what takes place. We're going to dimension a portion of memory. Uh, again, uh, my, this other side, uh, this happens before the load event. So, we're dimensioning a portion of memory and to hold a password. And we're, we're actually asking for the username. And... Uh, that's the second part, and that's gonna be that's gonna be decide because we're looking at uh, in order to store a, to store a uh, public variable, we're gonna have something that available to every procedure in the form form events form, which is that's all the procedures. These are all sub procedures. It's not the main procedure. We want something global to all the procedures in there. Or all the subs in there. Uh, so we're going to say public str user as string. We're going to dimension up here, so it's it's uh, global and it can be used down here. So here we're going to we're going to initialize it. So str user input box enter the user. So we're going to assign a username to that to that variable, and also we're going to assign a password by enter the password. Remember, this is an input box, and it's a function that's, that has text or whatever you assign to it. And then if the password, if the SDR password, what's entered in the box, is not equal to password, then it's the incorrect password. Then we're going to cancel the whole open event. Notice here the argument, uh, cancel as integer. And I didn't have to put any of that in there. It, Access automatically put that in there for me. Watch when I choose another one, like undo. Okay, nothing real special about that, except it has cancel. Cancel is integer. My structure was already formed for me, and this makes it nice because hey, I can I know right away what what is available to me. What uh, what keywords are available to me? So I can say. I'm going to cancel the whole event. Which event? The open event. So cancel out the open event. Now after the open event happens, we're going to load the form. It loads all the controls on the form. And we have a welcome and the SCR user. And as we're going along in the form, here are some possibilities. We have each record, record by record, we have Let's see if I can pull up one of these and show you record by record. This is a record. That's a current event. That's a current event. That's a current event. That's a current event. 
And if you notice up here in the uh, up right here in my keyboard caption, I'm putting I'm changing the name as I go along. So it's actually putting the title up there in the in the caption area. The title of the book title. Here's some uh, some good options here that you can use. Display a message box of the current record. Display data. Display the pre-order. Display all the books by a publisher based on publisher ID. Perform form level calculations by publisher. Okay, do you could do whatever you like with this. And so there's a lot of possibilities. So we looked at the open event, the load event, and the form current event. To uh, three common events in the life of a form. Hope you enjoyed that. The MS Access forms, and for more, be sure to rate and comment on this video. And you could also get the code using this video at vbahowto.com, your VBA resource. And remember to be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot. Oh, and make sure that you look at uh, video number two where we go into further, we look at form events like, uh, we look at form events like undo and delete and uh, things like that. So further, further knowledge, things that we're able to get to in this video. Bye now.